outfit of the day. Got on a flannel. I think this is from my great grandfather before he died of complications related to smoking, so don't smoke. And halter top, jeans that I mended yesterday, and these, like, they're from Madewell. They fit perfect, and I'm so glad that I fixed that spot right here yesterday because, like, they fit perfect now, and these are my favorite pair of jeans, so I'm really, really glad that I was able to save them. But today, we are going to be working on that painting. <sighs> this one over right here, right behind me, and I think we'll be able to finish it today. So I was squeezing out my white paint and something unfortunate happened. It is just all over my fingers. Love that for me. Clouds are mostly blocked in. I mean, look at that. That looks good. Flat brushes, absolutely the way to go. And then I sort of just carved it out a little bit. You guys saw me do it, but yeah. I mean, obviously these guys need some work, but they're gonna be mostly blocked by our reference photo. Let's take a look at that guy. That's our reference. This is in the reference pack over my Patreon. There's 175 references just like these in just one pack. And then I have some other packs that on there too that have fewer photos, but anyway, yeah. So, blocked in those clouds. Um, because I worked so hard on them though, I might have them peek through a little bit more. And then, I know that I said that I wanted to do the trees, like the foreground first, and then block in the background, but I realized that the clouds are in rough enough shape that I wanted to have them like in there, and then we can do the other stuff. So, as long as I'm doing it though, I might as well like, add some more detail over here. So it might be possible that we might not actually finish this today like I planned, but either way, we'll be making very good progress. Like I love the clouds so far. I feel like that painting over there that we worked on a few months ago really just sort of gave me lots of confidence when it comes to clouds. I feel like much more at ease now. So I think now I'm going to add in like some more of this detail and this stuff over here of like the, the fall colors, just sort of brighten this up a little bit, make it a little more vibrant, and then maybe we'll go in with the trees. Hopefully that doesn't ruin everything because I really like the way this is coming out so far. I think it looks really good. Oh, hello. Hi there. How's it going? Oh no, okay, back in the box.
Damn, okay, look at this. Nice, we are in a good spot right now. That, mm, good stuff. I love the clouds. Like I keep just being drawn toward the clouds because they just, they look so nice. And the rocks are looking kind of funky just because they're in the foreground. And this painting has a sort of interesting composition where all of the stuff in the foreground is darker than the stuff in the background because it's being backlit. That's not usually a thing that I would go for, but I think in this case, like the almost black tree trunks and like branches and leaves create a really interesting effect that I really want to capture. So I think in this case, it's totally working, but it does look weird to have these first layers look like the way they look. But anyway, I don't think we'll be able to finish this today just because all of this stuff that's on there right now is obviously still wet and it's gonna be wet for a few days. And I don't wanna put in those really dark marks without some decent forethought. And I don't wanna mess with the current layers, like smudging it around because that could really ruin the effect. I want it to be like, you know, very um, clean. Yeah, I feel like a painting, whether it's big or small, takes me the same amount of time does that make sense? It's like, when it's small, I really focus in on the details and I try to make certain areas of the painting really in focus. Whereas when I paint big, I feel more free to make some areas of the painting look a little bit hazy or a little bit out of focus. And I pick certain spots to look more in focus and like more deliberate. Um, so yeah, it's weird how that happens with me. It's just like, it takes the amount of time. And that's not something that I would like expect, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, so first layer of that, solid. Look great, looks great. And um, yeah, I'm not sure what I wanna do for the rest of the day. I have to do the laundry and I wanna make myself some lunch and then maybe we'll work in the sketchbook. So yeah, okay. Oh, and I do wanna check in just briefly to talk about monetization. So as you guys know from earlier in the week, I did get monetized and I do want to like update you on how much I'm making right now. So I only have two days worth of data because your stats for monetization, like your revenue is actually delayed by 48 hours. It's not real time and it's not delayed by 24 hours. Like the rest of your analytics, it's delayed by two days. So I have made a total of like 10 ish dollars so far. I made um, like $4 and something cents for the first day and then like almost $6 the next day. So yeah, that's, Definitely more than I was expecting. My CPM right now, so the cost per thousand views, is like fifteen, sixteen dollars, and that's really high. Um, like Catherine Manning, for example, who talks a lot about YouTube and talks a lot about money, she has like a famously high CPM of like twenty-five dollars sometimes. And the fact that I'm even close to that is insane. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna be making more videos about like YouTube and monetization and business for artists and entrepreneurship just because those videos have been doing really well for me and also they've been making me a good chunk of money. So yeah. Hi, sweetheart. Do you want lunch? Let's get you lunch. Yeah. That's right. It's lunch time. Your wet food is gonna arrive later today, I think, so then you'll have more stuff. There you go. <sighs> that is going to be a task for after lunch, taking out the recycling, cleaning the kitchen, I'm gonna do now.
I got him this like cactus scratching post thing because he keeps scratching our bar stool chairs and I put catnip at the bottom of it and now he just loves the bottom of it but he hasn't even used the scratching post. Um, though I did like rub some on the scratching post itself and put some at the top but he isn't very interested in that so shrug but he's very warm and soft and cozy yeah I'm talking about you yeah So I had my lunch. Um, one of the things that I have been wanting to do for like months is to actually re-release my Notion template that is like my content calendar Notion template and like really just deck it out, make it really nice. And I think I might spend the rest of the day doing that just because I watched a YouTube video um, that sort of like lit the fire under my ass to get this done. and. My content calendar is like basically perfected for me. Like I have, it's like a perfect setup for me. It has everything that I want. I have like multiple views in Notion. I have like templates that I use to like organize my content, whether it's a Skillshare class, a Patreon video, a YouTube video, a podcast episode. So I really think that like I can make this and it will be fairly simple because I can just copy my existing content calendar, delete all my video ideas and stuff, of course, and like make it like fairly simple. So that is, I think what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. And I think my plan is to release this for like three to five dollars on my website. And um, I might create a bundle with my workbook so you can get the same, so you can get like the workbook and the content calendar for like 25 bucks, which is the price of the workbook. So really you're getting this for free. <laughs> and I think I'll also send the content calendar notion template to everyone that's already bought the workbook. That's probably what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. And yeah, it feels good. Okay. is a kitty and he is on my lap are you gonna look at the camera or no probably not we don't know how we feel about the camera every time i bring it out in the bed he like looks at it like it's like gonna scoop him up and cart him off onto an unknown alien planet that's right there we go so i finished the content calendar template and i think i'm gonna send it out as a freebie to everyone who's already purchased the workbook so jokes on you for missing out um but i made the preview images and now i'm just adding it over to my squarespace site and then it'll go live i think i'll also be adding it as a freebie to my patreon so if you are not over on my patreon it'll be added to the five dollar tier and above which it'll be five dollars so it'll like make sense that it's on patreon and then i i don't think i'm gonna have a bundle at this time i think i'm just gonna have it as two separate things yeah yeah, I'm just gonna add that as a product to my Squarespace site and that'll, that'll be it, it'll be done. Cool. Um, yeah, I this is not sponsored by Squarespace, but I do like Squarespace. Uh, I'm gonna have a video soon where I customize my whole website because it right now is very bare bones, very not aesthetically pleasing and I want it to be aesthetically pleasing and I do know a little bit about coding and stuff, so. That'll be a video soon, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna add this over to my Squarespace site and we'll be done.
right, well, the Notion content calendar template is live, so you can go check that out in the link in the description if you're interested. I will be making a whole video walking you through it though, and like talking about how I plan content, how to plan content, and talking about consistency. So keep an eye out for that. Oh, one last thing. Um, I did make a community post asking for questions for a Q&A. If you guys are interested in like asking me any questions, I will answer like literally anything that you guys ask me. That's in the community tab, go check that out. And that will also be addressed either next week or the week after, just so you know. So anyway, check that out and I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.